should be a fun day out on the water today. The weather is absolutely gorgeous. We are mid to high tide and the water is rising. So right at the peak. Actually, it might just be rising or starting to fall, but we've got some water movement and that's what really matters. I like the high tide to low tide zone. So high tide moving down to low tide. It's one of my favorite times to fish. You can't really see the redfish tailing. But if you know the area, like for example, there's some oyster bars right over here. Nice jumping mullet. If you know the area and kind of find the fish, you also look for the wakes of the fish. So when a fish swims, their dorsal fins are sticking out make a little bit of a wake as they move. So I'm just going to try a couple little spots here. But mainly we're looking for conditions. So why did I come over here? If you look there's rapids right there or current. That's my word I use for current unfortunately. Current's coming in here and we're at 5.6 feet here. So you know that it's going to be deeper right as it's coming in. So why not try a few casts right here. Stretch the line out a bit. Let the let the bait just drop and up and down as it's swimming through the area. Right as we're facing the current. Now the water is tea stained. It's pretty normal color. It's not uh, last uh, episode I think it was really muddy. It's not as muddy today. Probably have a few feet of clearance so it's gonna be good. seeing if there's anything hanging out, feeding, waiting for bait to flow through this channel here. And we're going to hit a couple of the other channels the same way. In fact, it was. We got a fish. Look at that. Look at that. Sea trout. Nice sea trout, too. All right. Keep his head in the water. It doesn't jump out on you. Really nice sea trout. All right, buddy. Here we go. Nice sea trout feeding the rapids. Really good size. And it's all about the conditions. Conditions right here with these, this current moving through a channel that's a little deeper, it's going to produce fish. And it's produced a nice sea trout. Really good one too. You took that bait down. It's a little thick. And I'm going to guess he's about 15 to, no, he must be 19. 19, 20 inch sea trout. We'll find out here. There's your sea trout. Really good sea trout. He's got some tooth missing, but.
Got one. Got one. All right. There you go. He tugged on it and I pulled. Set the hook. There you go. Two fish right at the beginning. Looks like a. I try to keep a tight line here on him. Yeah, that's another. Oh, another sea trout. Okay. Must be a little. This one's a little too small. But got a good hook set on him. All right. Always fun to feel that tug. Well, he might not be too small, but hey, in Louisiana they'd keep these. Nice looking sea trout too. Get you a picture of him. There he is, in all his glory. Let's see. How big this guy is. Board's still wet from the last one. There he is. Oh yeah, 14, just over 14 inches. So he's going back. Thanks for the catch there. Get a good release on him. There you go, buddy. There you go. A little water flowing through his gills and they get revived. Okay. Got one. Got one. I know he hit it. But then I didn't... like a red but he's not fighting like a red hit the bottom of the kayak all right let's let him get out we're gonna stake ourselves off so we stop moving boy he hit that thing so soft and then uh, oh yeah it's a nice fish nice fish it's a sea trout looks like i don't know red fish big fish it's a red Nice red fish. He hit it right at that traverse. All right. Uh, pretty big boy. Pretty, pretty good size. Okay, we're staked out. We shouldn't go anywhere. Let's uh, see. Maybe this is the keeper we've been looking for. so gen gingerly and then I let him take it and then from there he kind of swam toward the boat so it wasn't that much of a fight these guys usually put up a bigger fight so let's see you buddy definitely got you hooked there's your red fish right at the beginning and we're gonna see kind of got that bait in your way Oh yeah, 19 inch redfish, 19 and a half when you count the uh, pinch tail. So he just dropped the hook. We're going to keep him. Thanks for the fight. Get you back here as long as we don't drop you. Good fish. Well, we dropped him. Got rid of them. Sometimes they get away like that. That's when I need to use my... <laughs> okay. Had a good fish. Slippery little things. <laughs> Had a good fish. I shouldn't use my fish grips, especially when it takes so long to find these guys. Lesson learned. <sighs> That's the one that got away. 19 inch. Redfish. And a half or a quarter. A little pinch point, a little funnel area. We'll fish this and go through it. There's.
got one. He took it and started heading toward me. <laughs> and then I set the hook where well, he's pulling me to. He's pulling some drag. Ooh, it's a good fish. Let me see if I can stake out. Here he is. Yeah. Good fish. Good tail on him. Oh yeah. It's a good fish. So I'm gonna get myself ready to fight this guy. He is pretty strong. He got my bait, swam toward me, I waited till he tugged which means he turned around and then I set the hook. Yeah, he's a good fish. He's a good fish. All right, right at the mouth there. He's trying to spit the hook, so I want to keep his head underwater. You can see his size, he's pretty big. Hope he's not over slot. Okay, he's swimming. He is trying to work against the bait a little bit, the hook. Yeah, he's a big fish. Look at this fish. He might be over slot. No, either that or this water's thin. Good red fish. Good red fish. We are gonna use fish grips. Looks like you got a spot on him. Are you done, buddy? May not be done yet. Probably got a run in him left. Yeah. Got a run in him left. He's right here at the kayak, though. Let's see if we can get him in. He's pretty big. Pretty big. Don't break me off. He's swimming around. Maybe over slot. Ooh, avoided the net. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Just bad timing. The GoPro went out right when I was pulling this fish in. It is a big red, good fish, boy, nice fight at the end, he just wouldn't give up. And so now we're going to put the, uh, put him on the ruler and see, he is, I can tell you, he's a pretty massive fish and we got him hooked good. There we are, we're going to use fish grips this time. A big big red look at this guy over slot probably big redfish just a huge guy let's see buddy how big you are 26 he is a 26 inch redfish so that's my PB I know I had one on bigger than that but he's a keeper Keep him. 26 inch redfish. He's got a little bit of a look at that guy. One spotter. Got a little bruise on him there. Nice fish. Good fight. Beautiful, beautiful fish. The big redfish. Just as good as the smaller 20 inches. 20 inch ones or not. really okay got one Boy, he got one and he hit the kayak <laughs> he hit it right at the kayak and I couldn't do anything to set the hook other than what I did
Got one. Might be a sea trout too. Let's see. He he hit it right at the boat. Hey buddy, let's see how big you are. You're gonna join the team. Looks like a keeper. Be a keeper in Louisiana. <laughs> they have smaller limits there. Good looking fish too. Gotcha. Now you got me all slimy. Got me all slimy. All right, buddy. Okay, what we're gonna do is what I should have been doing all along. We are using the fish grips. He's got teeth, and I do not want to. And he swallowed my bait. I don't want to get all slimy. Little dip of water. Get that hook out of his mouth. Yeah. Sometimes that hurts a little. All right. Let's see. Get a little dip of water there. See what. See what you are. There you go. 16 and a half. Uh, 15 as a keeper. So we're keeping him. There's your grunting. There's your sea trout. Good, good. We're headed back home from the marsh. Great day of fishing today. Really enjoyed it. Beautiful scenery. Uh, weather was perfect. The conditions changed throughout the, the time that I was fishing. That usually happens. Uh, but I look for the right conditions and I was successful at finding it today. Uh, hooked up a couple of really good sea trout. Got a couple uh, going home with me. I think I caught three of those. A couple of redfish as well. Um, maybe three of those too. So uh, with my personal best, 26, a little over 26 inches, uh, the maximum slot here is 27. So really happy about uh, that. And I'm gonna try it out just to see how it tastes. But many people say that a fish that big is uh, not the best tasting, but I'll let you know. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and comment on these videos. Really love to hear your thoughts and comments. Have a good one.